Hi, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for December 19, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. If you'd like to make a donation, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do so. That's can That can be found on my website, Tarot Barbie. Thanks, Virgos. I appreciate everybody who came through for me. Uh, coming in with the Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Somebody here is trying to figure out why you're not talking to them anymore. Why aren't you talking to them anymore, Virgos? This person's sitting here waiting for your message, and they're trying to figure out if the connection is done between you and them. They're saying, yes, the connection is done already. Stop waiting for this person to message you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you guys stop talking to this person. Maybe you guys are trying to reflect on trying to figure out if the connection is done between you and them, but I think in turn it could be both ways or the fact that if you guys know exactly what you did and you guys walked away, then this person is still feeling that way. They're trying to figure out why. Did you stop messaging them? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You guys are not investing in this energy at all. It looks like you guys ended up dipping out. Hermit card, you guys ghosted. And I think in the end, they might be the ones that are realistically trying to figure out if you guys are going to reach back out to them or not. And I think in the end, it's like you guys decide to say, you know, I don't want that. I don't want that offer. Four of Cups in reverse. They might try and find a way to come back towards you guys in it again. But I think at this point, they got a, they got it. They have, they, they, they do not know who you are anymore. And your persona, your attitude, your character has changed uh, substantially. Substantial. <laughs> it's changed a lot, Virgos, to the point where people are going to have to learn to introduce themselves. You are not the same person that you were four years ago. Things change. Four, four, four energy. Four of cups, four of swords, four of wands. Mm-mm. No. You're divinely guided, you're divinely protected, and you're loved by the Most High. You're no longer the same person that you were before, meaning that you're not going to be putting up with the same shit that you would have put up with four years ago. No, divine loves you. They're going to get you out of every situation that's not meant for you. This person looks like they run their mouth and talk a lot of shit. It makes sense why the hell you guys were going to ignore them or why you guys ghosted them. Honestly, nobody wants to deal with somebody like this. Nobody wants to deal with negative people. You know, you got negative energy on you. Watch how people, how your negative energy repels people immediately. You know, <laughs> uh, King of Swords, they're pissed. Oh my, are they ever pissed? They can't, they can't fathom why you guys stopped talking to them. Anyway, it is what it is. You guys probably just don't want to talk to them anymore. And it, and and, and, and yeah, it just it is what it is. You don't want to talk to them anymore. Uh, you might as well feel like this person's nothing but a liar, deceitful, deceptive. They talk a lot of shit. They run their mouths and talk a lot of shit either. And for that, you guys don't want to talk to this person anymore. You're looking for something that's going to be reciprocated. If you can't have that, then you don't want this person at all. I can also see Virgo. Somebody here is like cussing and yelling at somebody saying, you have to give me this and you have to give me that. And they're being really disrespectful about it too. Like I severely disrespectful. Queen of Swords to the Six of Pentacles star card. They're saying like, I'm a star. I'm famous, I'm rich, I'm this, I'm that. Whatever it is that this person feels like they are entitled to, they are li they literally go around telling people, oh, I'm, I'm a star, I'm this, I'm that. You should be spoiling me. You should be giving to me. It's like, just doesn't matter. And listen, it doesn't matter what position you carry in your life. If you walk with, if you do not walk with integrity, morals, dignity, respect, respect for yourself, respect for other people, then nobody's going to fucking respect you. Straight up. Queen of Swords in reverse, you got to cut it out. If you don't got respect for yourself, then who are you to tell people to what, what they can and cannot give you? Just because you have something that's nice, that doesn't mean <sighs> that you have to yell at people or cuss at people and be like, well, you know, it's not attractive at all. This this page of swords is saying something and the queen of swords is saying, well, why are you giving that to them? Or why aren't you giving to me? I'm, I'm famous. I'm a celebrity. I'm a YouTube creator. I'm a TikTok creator. Whatever it is, I'm famous. You know, I got this X. That doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. That, that stuff does not matter. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling me. I'm telling you right now. It doesn't matter if you're a YouTube creator. It doesn't matter if you're a TikTok creator. It doesn't matter if you're famous. It don't matter. You're still a human being. And the way you treat people is the reason why people are not going to want to give to you at all. The energy sucks. This energy sucks. This energy sucks. Sucks energy. Sucks. It just sucks. Like thumbs down. Two, on two hands, thumbs down. Like boo. <laughs> <laughs> maybe someone gonna go boo maybe you guys are gonna go somewhere and the energy's gonna be boo you know be like boo yo don't be treating people like that just because you feel like you carry something uh with your career or something that doesn't mean that you're entitled to have everything handed to you six of pentacles especially not with an attitude like that 
Also, with the Four of Cups in reverse, somebody here wants to come back towards you, hoping that they're going to be able to rebuild their relationship with you. But I think the spirits and angels are, are saying, like, you guys need to be cautious with this person because if you guys are just not in the same stable relationship or connection with this person the way that you used to be, especially after the fact that they had deceived you in some sort of way, the, the connection is not going to be stable with the Four of Wands in reverse. You're looking for peace. You're looking for harmony. And if you can't find that with the Four of Wands, then what is the point of being in a relationship? You will be divinely guided and also protected during this time, especially in the year 2024, if you guys are coming back into a connection with somebody here who that you may have rejected. Like I said to you guys before, Virgos, they're going to have to reintroduce themselves to you because you are no longer the same person that you were before. And 444, you're divinely guided, divinely protected, divinely loved by the Most High. And we're not going to let nothing and nobody come near you, touch you, or bother you, especially when you've already made the changes for yourself. Congratulations. I also see here, Virgos, you guys are going to be spiritually ascending to the next level of your of your ascension. Uh, a lot of people are going to be really sad and disappointed with the way that they had treated you, whether this be lovers, friendship, enemies, whatever it is. You guys come from... I don't know if we're going to go there. Nah, I'll leave it alone. But Spirit and the Angels are working behind the scene to take care of you, to help you guys out at this time. They said, we know that you can't, you don't want to see what they have in store for you, but they said it doesn't matter if you want to see what they have in store for you. They're going to build something for you anyway, and no one's going to be able to take anything from you guys. Uh, just they're saying, please be patient. Please take care of yourself. Please drink a lot of water. You know, stop maybe with the alcohol. Stop suppressing your feelings and your emotions. Be open-minded to the next level because the next two years are going to be a lot more better than whatever the hell it is you guys have been going on for the last three years has been nothing but bullshit. Nothing but bullshit. You guys are sitting here trying to help heal people, help yourself, do whatever you need to do and grow on a spiritual level and people just made your freaking spiritual path just bullshit. People know really people really know how to just take something nice and just totally destroy because they're nothing but a hater. This little bitch right here, look at this little bitch over here. She's yelling at people. She's like, I'm fucking famous. You better give me it's like this one's like, bitch, nobody cares if you're famous. That's not how you resp that's not how you talk to people. If you want to be spoiled, you better freaking talk with respect. And this one's just going off. Like, I can't believe it. The audacity of people sometimes. So the energy is going to come through for you guys, Virgos. You guys are going to be okay. Uh, everything you ever wanted is realistically going to come to light for you guys. And I do believe that there's going to be some sort of rainbow or some sort of paint, uh, a picture, a paint picture. You're going to see a picture, a paint picture with a rainbow on it. And if you don't see a rainbow like that, you're going to see a rainbow in the sky. It's just going to be automatically just there. Just weird. Maybe that's like... It doesn't matter where it's going to be, but there's a rainbow, and a rainbow's coming in. And I think that a lot of things are going to be moving quite more faster for you guys. You guys are on the energy of the enlightenment. You guys are being enlightened by the Most High. You guys are being taken care of. You guys are going to get the truth, the clarity that you guys genuinely need. You guys got the energy. You guys got the strength. You guys got the truth, you know? You got the clarity. You're being enlightened at this time. You guys are going through a spiritual ascension. You guys are also going through a spiritual awakening. 12, 12, 15, 15, 7, 7, 7, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2 are all coming in for you guys at this time, Virgos. And they want you guys, oh, the energy of 10, 10 as well, because you guys are closing up cycles at this time. And whatever you guys are closing up at this time is going to be bring, bringing you guys in the energy of 1, 1, 1. All right. Yeah. And then you guys got here. Somebody here is doing too much. I feel like there's going to be a divorce for somebody coming into the near future. Uh, Nine of Wands, Sun card, King of Wands. Somebody here thought that they did that. Somebody here thought that they really did you guys one. King of Wands, Sun card, and the Nine of Wands. They thought that they hurt you. They thought they did something to you, but they're saying, no, you're still shining. You're actually still smiling. You're laughing. You're giggly. You're cute. You're bubbly. You're looking better than ever. You're very resilient, Virgos. You've been through hell and back and nothing and no one's going to stop you from being able to achieve your goals and aspirations. You will be receiving your success, your recognition as well coming into the near future. Maybe around Christmas time you'll be able to get that. But people love you. They also respect you. This is not how you get people to respect you. Oh, I'm in the limelight. You better. That's not how you get people to respect you. Respecting yourself and respecting other people around you is how you're going to be respected and that's how you're going to get taken care of all right when you treat people kindly 
And with people with respect, that's how you receive that respect back. Somebody here don't give a shit if you like them or not, but you better respect them. And the only way that you're going to get that respect is if you if that respect is given and then that respect will be given back. Two-way street. There's no, there's no, one, no one got time for this disrespectful shit. There could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's still doing something stupid behind someone's back with the Empress energy, five of wands, seven of swords. Somebody here may have tried to cause some sort of conflict or some sort of fight between you and this person. And they may have tried to get away with it or you guys are coming to the realization that somebody was intervening in a relationship between you and someone and they were trying to create some sort of competition or some sort of fight between you and this person. I think you guys, I think it's because this person feels like they are very, they're popular, whatever the case is. And then I also see that there's an Aries Leo Sagittarius who marched their way down to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn and had them do some sort of spell work on you guys as well. They're saying that was the biggest mistake of their life. The biggest mistake of their life. Eight of Swords in Reverse, the Hierophant, King of Pentacles. Somebody here went towards the Hierophant, the priest, to have the priest do spell work on you. I think this priest is not fully equipped because he's in reverse to the Eight of Swords. They're not capable. They didn't do their job. They they skipped a step. I can I can see what they did. They completely skipped a step before they even actually should have taken uh, a step closer to even attempting to do something like this. So they skipped the step. And because they skipped the step and they casted whatever they tried to cast on you, that was the biggest mistake of their life. Because they didn't realize that they're coming up against the magician. Mm -mm. You got a hierophant in reverse, a priest in reverse, who went up against uh, what, they, what they should have gone up. So somebody here may have known that they were not supposed to do any type of work on you, but they did work on you anyway. Not realizing that you are the magician, that you are justice. And you are the strength card. Somebody here came up against the wrong person. The wrong person. And it was all because of the fact that they wanted to take someone's money. They're like, okay, you want to pay? Pay. They're going to do it. But that was the biggest mistake because they don't realize that you are the one that are, that's carrying the magic. You're the one that carries the energy. You are the one that carries that within you from all of eternity. And you carry the strength. You carry the power. You are protected. The Most High loves you. You're divinely guided, divinely protected, and God loves you very much. Justice is being served. You are the energy of justice. You are the energy of karma. Whenever you guys meet up with people or you meet new people in your life, that's because you are about to serve karma. That's why you cannot have your feelings be hurt or heartbroken in any type of circumstance in any way, shape, and form. Because whatever reason it is that you guys might be entering into someone's life, it may simply be the fact that you have to serve them karma for the way that they're sitting there treating others. Other people so karma is your energy you are walking karma and it is what it is and somebody here defending themselves you guys are defending yourself from somebody here it looks like someone here may have tried to do something sneaky with the moon under the moon energy and they were hurt and heartbroken over the fact that you weren't texting them anymore you weren't reaching out to them anymore so I guess it may have upset them very much that you were not linking up with them anymore, and they may have attempted to do some, 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 they may, <laughs> oh my god, that's how, exa that's probably exactly how they're acting, they probably can't even get their words out of their mouth, because they're stuttering, and they can't believe what they've honestly done, and this person may have tried to do some sort of love spell on you guys underneath the moon energy, on the new moon, and all and it ended up doing is actually leaving them hurt and heartbroken on their energy, you guys are walking judgment, calling me in with the judgment card, this person obviously wants to come back towards you guys, but they are obviously in their head. Why are they in their head? Because of all the spells, whatever the case is, it's messing with their mind. And you guys are single, you're mingling, you're happy, you're go lucky. Whatever these people may have tried to do onto you to bring nasty energy into your life, you guys are coming out of that. Nothing really stays negative in your life anyways. Usually you guys are bouncing back out of everything that meant to destroy you. It doesn't stay on you, Virgos. Uh, you guys got a few options coming in for you. Make sure you choose wisely. Uh, but there is going to be an opportunity with the Seven of Cups that is going to be able to help you guys get out of any financial uh, problem that you guys may have had. You guys decided to walk away from uh, someone who is very controlling, quick moving, but they're stressed out about it. They're getting stressed out about it because your spirit guys are coming in to hunt. That's all I heard. Someone here is coming in to hunt. And you and their spirit guides, because this person tried to hunt on you or prey on you, now your spirit guides are hunting them. So somebody here tried to prey on you. 
and now your spirit guides are hunting them and they don't like it. Somebody here is like, yes, they're protected. They can do what they want. Yeah, if you're so protected, then why are you struggling for in the nine of swords? It's all good. Show face, no problem. That ego must be very big. Full card, Aries energy, three of cups. Somebody here wants to, wanted to still be around you, hang out with you, whatever the case is, but you don't stroke nobody's ego, and it is what it is. Maybe these three galdums here do it, but in the end, it's like you don't. You look like you're the full energy. You're just like, la, 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 la. You're like, I'm going to go to my spirit, guys, and I'm going to hang out with them. Yeah, and because that, because you move like that and you don't sit around and you don't chill with foes, gossiping, talking shit, drinking, you ended up minding your own business, fool card. Your spirit guys came in for the hunt since they tried to prey on you, and they came to off with your head. You know, it is what it is. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Um so I just simply say here that this person is going to try and find a way to ask you for forgiveness with the six of cups to the two of pentacles maybe through text messaging or through a writing letter but I think in the end they are asking for forgiveness and they're hoping that you're going to make amends with them you are defending yourself from the fact that this person tried to create some sort of love spell on you they do love you and they do care about you but I think it's because you're defending yourself and it is what it is and this person may never have ever would have never realized that you actually are the magician and they have no idea who you are or what you are but they attempted it and you fuck around and you find out and that's exactly what happened now this person's a hurt they're heartbroken they're upset you're not they're not texting you you're not texting them they're feeling the illusions of it if you hear someone that has like an illusion spell on them and then it's like the you know the deception of their own subconscious mind the deception of their own consciousness the deception of the fucking love spells with the moon card to the ace of cups it's like it's not real and the reason why it's not real is because the moon decided to hand that love spell back to the king of cups and say no you invoked it you and started you started it take that back and they took it back and now they're just like oh <laughs> oh my god what is that and then i also see her virgos that somebody here could be in a relationship with an aries leo sagittarius somebody here likes to be very popular but they look like they're going to be going towards a lawyer i see a lawyer energy here too be very very mindful with what kind of lawyers you guys are picking up on or what kind of lawyers you guys are going to be choosing because in the end the last thing you're going to want to do is get a lawyer who is not going to be able to help you guys out at all somebody who manipulates the energy with the eight of in reverse nah i don't think this lawyer is going to be the best lawyer for you you might have to get another loyal but a lawyer but if i mean if this lawyer really is the type of person of the higher fan reverse he seems to get shit done uh, mm -mm -mm. he's grimy but he gets shit done it's weird yeah and then also virgos i do see a divorce coming in for a few people uh somebody here still wants to control you or possess you or whatever after the fact that you guys got a divorce with them because they're gonna be like no i still love you i don't want a relationship that's gonna like, you still love them, the divorce is over, it's freaking been over, and they're like, no, I still love you, please, you know? It's over. Move on with your life. It is what it is. Somebody here is working over time on trying to find ways to come back towards you. Ah, you guys got the devil sitting on top of their nine of cups. Somebody here is very obsessed over you, Virgos. They're obsessed. They're trying to find ways on how they want to come towards you. You guys might be in a toxic relationship or a toxic karmic contract between you and somebody else. You guys, this person feels... So this person is pretty obsessed with you, but you're not focused on them. You're focusing on the bag, your health, supplements. You're focused on drinking water. You're focused on things that a lot of people wouldn't be focused on doing, Right? And this person may want to come towards you, work with you, be around you. They want to reach out to you, speak to you, but you're like nowhere to be found. Somebody here might be going on a little trip with the three of wands, but I think in the end that this person here, Capricorn energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they're about to go through a lot of pain and heartbreak, especially after them dealing with somebody who is very childish and immature. They're trying to find, come up with some sort of ideas and some sort of idea to come back and work at the relationship out with you guys during Mercury retrograde. But you guys have been carrying so much negative energy from this person's bullshit. 10, 10 energy is right there for you guys. So while you guys are packing up your things, making a move, leaving, they're going to be like, listen, I love you. I want to be with you. I'm sorry. Are you going to be able to forgive me? So you guys are going to receive an apology. Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Be very mindful, Virgos, that 
Yeah, they're telling you to be cautious because they're saying like you need to walk away from people who are selfish, who take advantage of you. These are people who are no good for you. And you guys are going towards success, happiness, and protection and love. And you guys need to realistically start protecting your energy from all those who are not going to be deserving of it. And you also need to keep yourself safe as well. Uh, something about locking your front doors. Something going to be happening during Christmas, Virgos. I don't know if there's going to be lots of thefts or whatever the case is during Christmas. But, I mean, at the end of the day, take care of yourself, protect your energy. Uh, it looks like you guys are going to be walking away from any place, workplace, friendship, love, relationships, from anyone who's selfish, manipulative, and who's always playing that tit for tat game. You guys are going to be jumping on your high horse and you're going to be making a move and going to other opportunities that are going to be much more better for you guys. I don't suggest you guys telling people what your next moves are going to be. That is, it is what it is. Keep it close to your chest. Thanks, cuties. Bye.